And welcome back. We are once again in St. Hyacinth at the Sheraton Hotel for the Canadian Open 2023. You know, the Canadian Open is such an important event in Canada. We have the national championships as well next week, but the Canadian Open is sort of seen as the uh, the Open National Championship. This is really our biggest tournament where all of the top players from across the country come together. And we've got a couple of great semi-finals for you today. Uh, this event is sponsored by Condor Trinidad. They are the producers of the Axe Neon Series. Fantastic sets of flight chef combos. Uh, let's introduce our players. I'll pass you over to Ty Reddy. My name's Clint Clarkson, and we are going to be commentating for you today. How's it going, everybody out there? So up first, as you can see here, we have Jim Long. He comes from Ontario. His hometown is London. Uh, what can we say about this guy? He's been and done almost it all. He's been in the PDC. He's done video events. Uh, and he's just a gentleman and a scholar, as you can see by his nickname. Yeah, arguably Canada's top player right now. We obviously, we've got Jeff Smith and uh, Matt Campbell playing for us as well, but Jim has been playing at just absolute top of his game for several months now. Yeah, and playing against Jim is Daniel Goyette. He hails from Sherbrooke here in Quebec. This is the second time he's made the provincial team, and uh, I'm sure he's just chomping at the bit here to get a good scalp and to say he beat Jim Long on his way to the final of the Canadian Open. If you are watching this or watching this on time delay, uh, also worth pointing out that the rest of the events for the Canadian National Championships will be live streamed throughout this week and will be available recorded afterwards. And you can find all of those on youtube.com forward slash Maximum Darts Live. So that's youtube.com forward slash Maximum Darts Live to watch all of the Canadian National Championships throughout this week. And we're off firing away. Jim Long opening up with a ton to get things started. And Daniel going down to the 19. So it'll be interesting to see if he stays there for the whole match, but open to the 41. I mean, it might take uh, a little bit of time here to settle. Obviously, Jim's been here and done that, so his nerves are probably a lot more steely than what Daniel's would be, but give it some time, and Daniel will probably find his rhythm and turn this into an exciting match. Yeah, this could be to uh, Daniel's advantage that Jim got the, the opening leg toss. Now, with the NDFC, obviously, uh, we're going to be bulling up going into that last leg, so it's not a huge disadvantage for Daniel to be throwing second in this sec in this first leg, giving him the, the opportunity to get settled on stage where Jim's obviously very comfortable. Yeah, Jim's off to a very solid start, going ton ton 85. Just how you want to be when you're holding throw. And he's still looking for his first triple of this match. Jim's just looking cool as a cucumber out there. Yeah, finding that 60 once again. And Daniel's got himself in a big hole here. He's going to need an excavator to get out of it if he wants to win this first leg. You know, almost at this point, you just want to try to hope to find some, you know, some pace to your throw and then pick it back up on your throw in the next leg and just forget about this one. Jim going 19, is hoping to set up the 40, but misses. And misses into the seven again. I think that's going to leave him on 68. Uh, Daniel finally, finally, finally finding that triple, and he's in it again. Can he fill it up, Willie? Willie? Yes. Yeah, what a great go. shot. Puts himself onto a finish. A little bit of pressure, Jim. It's a lot, a big ask, but Jim's experienced. Going to 36 root for 32. Double eight. And, and Jim snakes that first leg. He's a crafty harpooner. Look out, Moby Dick. Jim Long is coming. Uh, Daniel getting a slow start, 59. Opportunity here for Jim if he can bang in a big score to take control of the second leg right away. And he's a little bit off to the left of both those first two darts. Uh, Daniel getting another shot to get off quick. Oh, 
Another triple is visit though. Yeah, we don't want to be doing that too much against someone like Jim. We will start finding it. No, Jim's usually the guy. He's the straw stirring the drink. If you give him too much time, he's definitely going to take advantage. 59. 59 out of Jim there. There'll be darts in the second leg. You expect them to settle in a bit. Here goes Daniel. That's what we're looking for. Right, solid 95. Pulling himself in front. Oh, great look from Jim, 140, pulling himself back into this leg. Daniel needs to respond. Tough deflection there. Another big troublous visit. If Jim can hit a big score, he'll end up taking advantage of this leg and breaking the throw. Good last start to set up the 170. It'd be nice to see a big fish this early, eh, Clint? 100% it would. Here's Daniel. Trying to make sure he puts some pressure on Jim, who's on that 170. Another triple here would be big. Unable to catch it, but that 95 does get him down to a finish. Jim with one in that triple. Willie. Oh, Willie. No, he couldn't. Oh, what a shot. Good miss, though. He hits the 10 to leave himself on 40. Tons of pressure on Daniel to take a look at this 148. And it's not going to go. So Jim will come back to have a look at that 40. But he looks like he's going to be under some pressure here, especially if he finds another triple. Right, sitting on 72, probably going 20s or 16s here. Looks like he's looking at the top of the board. Yeah, oh, and he goes for the triple 12. Yeah, 36 remaining. Heart. Jim Long taking his time. This is where experience really comes in. It's a good marker for him. An even better marker. Ooh, Ooh just underneath. Yeah. And this is this exactly shows why it was so important for Daniel to really fire back at him. He's got to be careful on this double nine. Good marker. Oh, and he reads, you can see it in his throw there. He drops it low, leaves himself on nine. Can't imagine Jim missing this again. And Excellent shot. Yeah, like an archer on a squirrel, Jim takes a two-nothing lead. That was a big, big, uh, big, big leg for Daniel. It would have been good for him to hold that throw. Coming back now to be two-nothing down to someone like Jim Long. It's going to be a big mountain to climb. Yeah, a guy who's experienced at gym knows that this is the opportunity right now to really bury on. Now, only an 85 to open up, so a little bit of room for Daniel if he can bag a big score. Well, that's tough. Jim again with the opportunity to really pull ahead. Start there from Jim, but he fixes it up there by pulling up that triple 20 in his last. And some really solid stuff out of Jim. You know, nothing uh, crazy out there, but very, very solid and very tough darts to play. 81s and 85s and tons. And that's another big turn there from Daniel. Yeah. That's just what he needed at this time. Monster shot, playing against the darts. Needed to get himself a little bit ahead. And Jim's going to respond. Willie. Oh, oh, puts it in. 133, though. Keeps himself ahead. Well ahead. Daniel looking to go again. And another 133. Who needs a spring hair? We've got the March of the Triple 19s going right now. <laughs> Jim back into that 20, though. 105. Jim setting himself up under a ton, giving himself a triple to double finish. Great job utilizing that hole. Leave it on a two darter instead of a three. Just deflecting off into the three there is Daniel. Oh, those are good darts, but on the wrong side of the wire. Going to the triple 18s. And he'll set it up with a single 20 here. So obviously Daniel's got a big finish here. 
to try and keep himself in this match. Going down three nothing to Jim is going to be a tough, tough task to overcome. And just pushing off into that triple seven. And that's a good recovery there. Yeah, good last dart. Puts himself in a position if Jim happens to miss here. Ooh, wild first dart. And double 10. He's long, he's strong, and he's down to get his doubles on. Jim Long now with a 3 0 lead in this match. You know, at this point in time for Daniel, it's almost a, it's, it's do or die. So maybe it'll help shake off some nerves and he can just play his game. Because uh, if he doesn't, he's going to be sitting and watching the finals. Yeah, one of two things usually happens here, Ty. You either see a guy just loosen up and go for it, or get even tighter as they try to get too hard to pull themselves back into the match. That's a steady 57, but at this point, it's not going to be enough to battle off Jim, who is right on top of that triple 19. A little bit of monkey see, monkey do here. Maybe Jim just showing Daniel, I can hit triple 19s as well. Well, Daniel not afraid to keep firing. And, and a, a great turn. shot. I do know Jim has said in the past that uh, on long tournament days like this, that if Jan does get tired, he will switch down to 19s just to save himself and keep the endurance going. But as I say that, he goes right back up to those 20s and pulls in 100. Daniel's got to be careful here to leave himself a finish. Oh, that, that's going to hurt him. And we expect to see Jim going at the 19s here to give himself a finish, as only the single 19 will do. Single 19. Oh, oh, just pushes off into the 7. Good ah, recovery, though. Pick it up. Yeah. Good recovery. Daniel's under pressure to catch a triple now. He's got one. Will he get two? Pushes off. And what Jim does here is going to say a lot for what happens in this leg. He's got one. If he makes another. Ooh. Does put himself on an 85 finish with Daniel coming up at 144. It's not going to go. And all he can do is set himself up. Finishes like 85 and those 90s and things like that. Jim is one of the most deadliest in the country on it, so I wouldn't be surprised if this goes. Will he go bull first, or is he going to play the 45? Plays the 45, misses wide, 17s, and no. He'll be back to set up. He's got the setup, but here comes Daniel with a 103. Certainly, Daniel's capable of taking this out. It'd be great to see him snag this leg and make this match a bit more interesting. Oh, and it won't drop. He pushed that dart. Got to stay composed, though. I mean, there's nothing that says Jim can't miss with two darts to the double. He finds himself to 17. Jim going fat 15, leaving himself on 40 for the win. And there it is. Just so steady, so consistent. Uh, that's exactly what we'd expect to see out of a guy like Jim Long. Good for Daniel making it this far in the tournament. Only two times on Team Quebec, but a great player. A bit of a tough match for him. You can see he was having a hard time staying in that triple 19, but excellent, excellent work. And I mean, solid darts out of Jim Long. You know, an 85 average, pretty much. You know, he definitely has a little bit more of a gear or two above that, but 85 is not easy to play against. And uh, Daniel himself pulling just under a 77 is, is no, no, no uh, shake at what he did as well. It's, it's, it's quite well done. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I think it's a great start to our semifinals here of the boys. And uh, really looking forward to see what the next one is. Our next matchup will be Nelson Backus out of BC playing against Kylie Edmonds. Should be a doozy.
Back once again in St. Hyacinth, in Quebec for the second semifinals of the men's singles at the 2023 Canadian Open. This event sponsored by Trinidad and Condor. And we've got a couple of new players, obviously, for our second semifinal. Let's pass it over to Ty for introductions. Hello again, everyone. So as you see here, we got Kylie Edmonds looking like he's about ready to throw maybe more practice starts or maybe he'll start. I guess we'll find out. He's playing Nelson Backus, who is from Prince George, BC. I've uh, had the fortunate ability to go out to BC for the past little bit to play in tournaments, and I've heard nothing but amazing things about this man. He really is known as a deadly triple shooter. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a couple of 180s from him in this at the Provincial Championships for British Columbia. He put in 35 180s over the weekend. Uh, and then Kylie Edmonds won a lot of different tournaments across the country. If you're not sure where he's from, that's okay because he's originally from Newfoundland. He's played in Alberta the last little while and now he's playing in Nova Scotia. So the man makes his way around, but everywhere he goes he throws great darts. You know what, it's a nice thing for him to spread the bullying. You know, let him beat up on people from different provinces yeah, and yeah, give that province a little bit of a break for a few minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's got to move around because nobody wants to play anymore. He wins everything. It looks like Nelson's going to be starting, or maybe it'll be Kylie's starting by the looks of it now. And I think we're about to get away here. It was just such a smooth, effortless stroke from Kylie. Uh, picks up a 60, but those are three nicely thrown darts. I mean, one of the smoothest throws you'll see. Nelson's got an interesting release, but man, is he consistent with it. Oh, a tough deflection there. A little bit of the commentator's curse, I think. Ah, uh, that might have been my fault. Yeah, sorry about that, Nelson. And Kylie starting to bury it on right early, and there it is with the first 180 of this match. The crowd likes that one. Nelson, not to be outdone, gets in. Will he match? Will he match? Oh, Ooh. just underneath the wire. Great answer, though. Good response after opening up, not the best that you'd like to, and uh, having to follow a 180, so that's good out of Nelson. Kylie's right back in that triple and matches the 140 to pull himself well ahead, sitting on 121 after nine darts. Nelson's in a deep hole, gonna need a shovel, but he's got one triple. He's got another triple. Can he match that 180? Ooh. Oh, in the same spot. That might be the same hole as the last shot. But the averages are climbing up quickly for these two. Kylie opting to go for the bull first. Gonna leave himself on a single to a double finish. Nelson on 214 really needs to fire in a couple more triples to put the pressure on. That's a good first dart for him. Second one's in. Ooh, and that third dart just deflecting high and over top. Very uh, Phil Taylor-esque of his uh, darts. Yeah, both of these players throw a, a top stacking dart, so uh, excellent shot there from Kylie making no doubt that he's winning that first leg. I mean, that's what you want, don't you? First ride at that double, just get it out the way. With a 14 daughter managing to maintain 107 average through that first leg. Nelson not looking phased at all, though. Coming out strong, begging the ton in the first shot. Tough deflection. Well, Nelson gets the early advantage. Can he continue to bury in that triple? Right back in it. Willie. Willie. Oh, and man. once again, he fails to finish off the 180. You gotta think he's gonna start putting something in. That's what we we're talking about off the top. He is so consistent on that triple. The big man switching downstairs and pulls off the 96. Keep himself close. You can see the focus from Nelson. Great darts. Yet another two treble visit. Kylie making sure to get in quick. Oh, and just missing the, just missing the 180. Nelson has an advantage. He can't afford to throw a weak shot here. Triple would be helpful. 44. 44 puts him under 100, but here's an opportunity for Kylie. If he can put a couple triples in. Not the first dart he'd want. No, and not the second. He failed to put the pressure on that he wanted. Uh, it's all Nelson here. He's got six starts to clean up this 92. 
And he's gonna have five to take out 32. Ooh, just sitting on that inside wire. Ooh, and again on the inside wire of that double eight. You know, knowing that you're getting a, a second chance to come back is, is nice, but against someone like Kylie Edmonds, you don't want to be playing around too much because as soon as he gets that double, and it's Kylie, with that ton, Kylie puts that some pressure on. And there we go, nice. Nelson with the finish, proving the Philippines is more than just Jolly B. <laughs> Kylie starting the third leg, getting a little high above that triple. Hangs out there, only gonna bag a 60. I feel like that's a good marker for him. And just goes Gets below underneath it. it. And just pushes off, taking a 43 there, but again, not badly thrown darts. Kylie won't be happy with that 60 he scored with his first shot, but he's gotta feel a little more comfortable with it now. Gonna be looked to take off. Another 60. You know, if Nelson can break him on this throw, that's going to be a big, big advantage with it being a format of just to four. And again, in and all around that triple 20. Solid 100. Kyle's going to have to pick up his game now as Nelson pulls ahead just by a little. This is a funny game sometimes, though, isn't it, Ty, where... You'll be throwing, you feel like you're on that triple, the darts are coming out of your hands clean, but for some reason you keep just hitting singles. And it's there's times where, you know, going up and going 60-60-60 feels just as good, and uh, for some reason they just don't want to go in sometimes, but that's not the problem for Nelson. Great adjustment there. Nelson had himself blocked, moved to, the, to his left, and was able to pick up the 140. Now Kylie's found it. Another. He's got the dollar, though. Still a good answer. Did he sneak that last one in there? Yeah, he Indeed did. he did. So he's on to the finish. Kylie needing at least the 60, but certainly wants to be hit 100 or more. A lot tough last dart. So no. Nelson with at least six darts at this 123. In a good position to break throw early. Having a peek, does he try to go for the setup for bowl, or does he just set it up for a proper okay. double O? And he looks like he's... He's in there. He's got the opportunity. Does he go for the bowl or does he just set up? Oh, and he sets up, but sets finds up the but slides it. <laughs> yeah, he's having a little bit of a chuckle at that one. He won't be chuckling if Kylie comes back with a 140 here. Oh, but Kylie's a little bit off, it seems, right, for this leg. Nelson with a big opportunity to break here. Hey, first dart. First dart. Going right at that double 15. Doesn't even bother to split it. Clearly he's worried about his averages. No, yeah. probably not. But he's happy to pick off the win. Nelson will kick off this next leg. Kylie's average dropped from in the hundreds all the way down into the 80s with that leg where he just wasn't able to find the triple as often as he'd like. Someone like Kylie will shake that off. You know, he'll look at it, he goes, just one bad leg. I'll just pick up where I left off after that first leg. Yeah, you'd expect him to come up firing here and try and put the pressure on Nelson and break back and it doesn't want to go down 3-1. Nelson coming in with that 95, you know, just not There's Kylie, a lot more confident Relenting there. up and that looks like it is one, two, a 1-2-3. Three. 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 You can count on me. Stacking upwards, does he get it? Ooh, and just above the wire this time. Here's a chance for Kylie to take control of this leg if he can put up another big score. A little bit of an errant dart there. Wants a triple. Ooh, just come up short again. That's interesting. On his last throw, he came out and fired a bit more quickly and got the big one, two, three, and that time as he slowed down a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see if he can get his pace right. Nelson just popping in a... 55 there by the looks of things. You know, the one thing I will say is these two guys are very cool, calm, and collected on that stage. Yeah, there's not a lot of panic in either of them. 
No, not letting, you know, turns that they might not have wanted to hit. They maybe have wanted more darts get to them. They're just going on with it and staying in the zone. Yeah, and Kyler's got to be careful. He's had a couple of bad shots here, but he's right in this leg still. I mean, he's up by 11 and after before this shot. 85. Only an 85. There's still opportunities here for Kyler to get the edge and get the first crack at the finish. A big two triple turn here will do him massive favors. Even one. Uh, just coming up shy again. Um, Nelson with the edge now. If he can hit a triple here, get himself onto a 106 or, one, or on 66, he'd be all right. First to the finish, can Kylie put more pressure on him? Triple leaves one, two, six, and yeah, he's got it. It's a great finish for Kylie. Well, Kylie with the slight advantage here to break back again. Nelson's gonna look to try to set up what will now be a two darter, if he can hopefully maybe squeeze this in, or is he gonna change? And he goes over to the eight. Good course. switch. Good switch. Did, he did catch it. Kyle with the pressure. He's got to catch this triple. He's got it. Bull for the win. Oh, oh and right on the wire. Great look from Kylie. Nelson's got to be feeling that. Can he shake it and put away this 52? Back down to double 16. Nice clean dart on the 20. On the inside of that wire. And on the outside of the double eight. That's the second time on that 16 to eight combo that he's failed to clean it up. Kylie now with 24. Ooh, and an errant third dart. I almost looked like that second dart might have been a little bit of a blocker for him. Looks like he was trying to go around it and maybe dropped his arm a bit. All right, so Nelson here having a chance to take a stranglehold on this leg. And, and he's it got is. it. Now up 3-1, Kylie's got to come out strong. He's going to have to break Nelson, but first thing he needs to do is hold his throw in this fourth leg, fifth leg. Ooh. Great opening darts. Very strong start. Kylie's the type of guy who plays well all of the time, but is even more dangerous when his back's against the, against the wall. Yeah, but, uh... The way Nelson's been hitting those triple 20s, you know, he's got to feel even after a 140 start that it's not going to phase him. He's, uh, he's still always going to be in the leg. 54. Kylie falling off a little bit there just with a 54. Nelson blocking it. He is a player who likes to try and go around his darts now with those darts landing just at that slight decline. He can slip those darts around if he's got them right on top of the wire. If they're a bit higher up, it's a little more challenging. Whereas Kyla's come in a little bit more straight than Nelson's do. He's got himself a big lead now. Nelson's going to need at least a couple of triples. You know, you always wonder in a situation like this, are you just more than happy to keep your rhythm and then just focus when it's your throw next? Let, not be too bad or, or angry or disappointed if Kylie gets this and just really try to bring it home when you have the advantage of throw. Kylie finding that triple 17 on his last dart there to, to help keep his somewhat monstrous lead. Oh, Nelson's back in that triple 20. Ooh, and an errant dart there, just an 85. He definitely would have wanted more out of that. Put a little bit more pressure on. Kylie going the 16 route, misses, but can he fill up that 20? And he does to put himself on eight. Yeah, that's a good turn. And again, like you said, when your back's against the wall, that's when you want to be playing that type of level. Yeah, for Nelson here, it's just a matter of making sure he finds his throw and he's ready to go on his throw in the next leg. He's got the advantage in the averages, although 28 doesn't help. And yeah. first start for Kylie. What a great leg under the pressure. That's the type of player that Kylie is. Now against the throw, you'd expect him to come out firing once again. He's got to be aggressive. He can't afford to sit back and wait. Nelson gets near that double, it could be trouble. And great darts from the wonder out of BC. Solid start. Oh, and Kylie's answering. Kylie's answering. Oh, there it is. 
140, great start, just missing the 180. Nelson looking to answer. 83. 83. You know what? That's not bad with holding throw. You just want to keep it relevant, but it's going to be hard now with Kylie just getting real into that triple 20. It's all in 99. Yeah, Nelson can't afford to make mistakes here. He's got the advantage of the throw. He knows Kylie's coming. He's got to make sure that he keeps steady throws. He can't afford a 41 or a 26 here. You want to get the job done now. You don't want to be going to a, a deciding leg with all that extra pressure on. Oh, and he's doing just that. What a great shot from Nelson. That 140 pulls him back ahead, and now there's some pressure on Kylie. He knows that Nelson's likely going to get the first crack at the finish unless he's able to set himself up on a big finish here or bury two. Mm, you're That's off trouble. Into that one in the first. But Can he hit another? Unable to. Nelson's going to get the first crack at the finish. Now what is he going to be shooting at? It's going to be a good setup. Ooh, and veering off into the five there. Maybe a switch to the 18s might have been a little bit of a better shot there, but who am I to question? I'm not the one on the stage. Not this time. Not this time. Unfortunate first start for Kylie. He's looking to clean it up. When he does that, just that. That's, uh, that's enough to put some pressure on Nelson here. A lot of pressure. Nelson's got to decide if he's going bull or if he's going to take the triple 19. He does opt for bull. Eight, 68 left. Likely 18 to the bull. Yeah, it looks like he was just checking his score there to make sure. And a bull to win this round. Ooh, Ooh and just pushes off into the 11. Kylie Kyle with 62 to rescue himself. been quite the entertainment match, you know, uh, a lot of back and forth darts, a lot of big scores, a lot of answering, a lot of tension, a lot of drama. Just what you want to see here at the uh, Canadian Open. This is unfortunate, I had to do a bit of a score check here, which slows Kylie down, but he's a veteran player. Going triple 10, leaving himself 56, tops. Ooh, oh, just and pulls he pushes it. Low. it. Nelson just needs to take his time here and have a nice clean shot. Seven to leave 32. Just on the outside. Can he land it on top? It's a good marker. Oh, and he pushes oh, that one just, just outside. outside as well. Just lines them right up against the wire. You even see Kylie there. He thought probably both of those darts were in, never mind just one of them. Kylie recomposing himself. Looking to force this final leg. Outside, stack it. Ooh, on the inside, up to double five. And there it is. It off. Great shot from Kylie. Great shot. Setting up a deciding leg. NDFC rules. That means we're going to bull up in the final leg. And I mean, this match definitely deserved to go to five. What an entertaining game of darts we've had here on the stream. Ooh, Kylie pulls it a bit wide. Gives Nelson a nice fat target to throw at. And uh, he pulls the ring just to show off. Right on that ball. Now can the powerhouse from the Philippines open strong. And he's able to clip that triple. Gets himself an 81. Nothing wrong with that when you're holding throw. Kylie stacking them on top, switch, and picks up the 97. That's a great dart. What a good cover shot that was. Nelson's still in control, but needs to make sure that he's careful here. Another and good cover shot. Very much so. The 92 pulls him ahead. Kylie with the slow start, looking to cover again. Unable to. Just pulling out a 44 there. This is a good opportunity for Nelson to take advantage of winning that bullseye. Starting off a little little errant. Hopefully here he catches a triple for himself. Ooh. The pressure of the moment may be getting to Nelson a little bit, but he's still in control. It really does matter what Kylie does here. He's in the same position. Oh. 
Tough darts for Kylie. Let's go, boys. We want to see a big finish. He starts on the 20 on the 302, which means he's not going to be able to get himself to a finish. Yeah, but another solid cover shot. The 19s have been treating him well when he's needed to go down there. Sitting on 200 and setting up the finish. There's pressure now on Kylie. He's got to pick, pick a triple here. That is unfortunate. You can see Nelson senses he's in control. Looking to bury on the pressure. Another triple. Indeed it was, but not the one not he the wanted. One he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Still, the 135 is a monster shot. Oh, it was just 90. Kylie, Kylie looking a little disinterested there. The last last six six starts haven't been the best out of them. Nelson's got a sense that there's blood in the water. And Kylie's got a sense that, or at least feel that, he's not out of this leg. There's a lot of pressure that goes on. He hits it a 140 or a 180 here, and Nelson's going to be feeling it. Can he stack on top of that? Good first start. Oh, and again, just pushing off a bit. Does manage to grab a Able triple. To find it, puts himself on 170. Not a ton of pressure on Nelson, but... Nelson here just taking his time, making sure the math is all right. We're having There's a look blood at in the water. Does the Filipino oh, shark just yeah. off? He's gonna. I oh, mean, he may though. have another trip to the board, but Kylie's certainly the guy that can finish this off. Oh. And low, so we see Nelson's coming back to the line, sitting on 20 to give himself a trip to the finals of the Canadian Open men's singles. All of the Philippines cheering him on. Can he finish this off? First start's a great marker. Can he stack it? Will he? Oh, just outside, moving to that five. And oh. outside. Now here's an opportunity for Kylie. 110, I've seen him take out these finishes endless numbers of times. You gotta know that he's gonna bring it here as much as he can. 60, and it's a miss. Sitting on 10, this isn't a sure thing though for Nelson. The man from Prince George getting another turn here at this double five to seal his spot in the final. All the way from the Philippines, then to Prince George and all the way to St. Hyacinth does he send himself to the Canadian Open men's singles final. And there it is. Great it dart is. from Nelson. It'll be Nelson Backus and Jim Long in the Condor Trinidad Canadian Open men's singles final.